off first. You think about the Don Drapers of the world, right? Those are like the cool marketers, right? I mean, you're, you, you, you sip cognac and smoke in your room and think about really cool, snazzy words about BW, the VW bug or something. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, that's like the best marketing job you can get. And then after that, you know, uh, you know, maybe like the digital marketer, these really cool kids that sort of cropped up in the 90s and the 2000s. A lot of them have beards now. They drink P P Paps Blue Ribbon, <laughs> right? Uh, they wear glasses. They live in Williamsburg. They're cool guys, right? You, everyone wants to be a digital marketer, right? They're really cool. Uh, and then maybe third in the pecking order might be the event coordinators. I mean, these are the, the gorgeous men and women who uh, drink martinis all the time and... Uh, and go to parties and throw parties. Uh, and, and then maybe after that's like the ruthless dictator, and then after that's the direct marketer, right? And at dead last, the direct marketer sits around, and then they're the ones that, uh, they're the ones that sort of uh, are, are, are at the last of the pecking order. But the reality is this, though. Something started to happen. And what started to happen is the marketing executive kept getting fired. And we got fired a lot. Uh, in fact, um, you know, the problem is, is that the executives would start talking about, well, what's the ROI for the marketing spend that we are doing? And the, 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 the marketing executive would talk about awareness. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, I have no idea what the ROI is, but you know what? Those can be really cool, and people are going to see the ad, and isn't that cool that people are going to see the ad? And then the executives, the CEOs would say, no, no, not really. <laughs> and they'd fire us. In fact, we actually got fired a lot. According to Accord Ferry, we were actually fired every single 18, every 18 months. We we're the most fired executive in the boardroom. Now, what's interesting about that is it's actually improved over time, and that's really thanks to the direct market. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, but now it's actually two and a half years, so we, we actually have extended our longevity. So, and that's all uh, because of me. Thank you. We get fired. So, so this is what happened, okay? So what happened is, is that the marketing executive got really smart. And what we did is we went back to, the, to our friends here, the, the uh, direct marketers, and we said, hey, you know, let, let, let's learn from you guys. Let's learn about how to really measure things in a really interesting and effective way. Uh, and that's when the direct marketer sort of came to its own. what? I really need to measure everything. Really, anything that comes my way, right? Danny talked about radio. We need to measure radio. We can measure TV. Let's just measure everything, because that's really cool. So what ended up happening was, ah, yeah, the marketing executive really, really became a direct marketer. So what we're going to talk about is the next step for the evolution of the marketing executive. And really, the, the evolution of the marketing executive is, is tomorrow, we need to be able to use the mathematics of marketing to measure everything that we do. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit of that marketing math, and you do not need to be a physics major to figure it out. It's really important to understand what the asset is that you're offering in order to sweeten the deal. And what we found is, is that if you do offer an asset like that, it actually will accelerate your conversion rates tremendously. Anyone have any fun assets or bribes that they've ever used in their lead generation marketing campaigns? That they want to talk about, share? So I work with Starbucks, they have the best one. Starbucks, and, and basically this was their B2B services, the guys who sell like Starbucks coffee to hotels. And every single time that you were able to get a meeting with them, they would give you 10 pounds of Starbucks coffee. And their conversion rate was like 90%. Does anyone know what dynamic content is? It's the ability to actually take the search term that the person searched in and actually embed it in your actual display ad, your actual, uh, your actual sponsored ad. So if someone says really cozy, comfortable shoes, it goes, we specialize in really cozy, comfortable shoes. And so when the person actually sees it, they go, wow, that's really cool. That's actually exactly what I was looking for. And they click on it. Uh, so dynamic keywords are actually great. 
And then, you know, always want to run an A-B split test. Be able to run two or three different ones at any given time because what it'll allow you to do is it'll actually allow you to see which one's better. It allows you to take some chances to see which one, which message is going to resonate. Maybe in one, you do a 15% off coupon. Maybe in the other, you do $30 off and see which one works better. There's a lot of psychology behind whether or not people believe in percentages or firm dollars. So you can see whether or not that works for you.